Today we have on the microgrid good setup. Now on the 10 minute time frame, we have a typical decaying circle. It's the top, it's the bottom. Even though we broke the bottom and we went up a bit, that's okay. If you look at the 20 minute time frame, we have another typical decaying fractal. Now, within the decaying fractal here, we have another decaying fractal right here, the slider. You know the form, and that's the top. Okay. 10 minutes, 20 minutes. We'll move down to the four hour time frame. Okay. We have a typical slider bottom here. It turned up. Now what we have to do, wait until we break the bottom here. Then the trend will be down. We're on a four hour time frame. Uh, I would use that for direction for the day. Okay. Uh, it's bullish, but it appears to be failing. Now, how do we find the confirmation? Well, we failed here. Okay, the trend is bearish. And the top here is holding it's bearish. So, what we want to do, uh, probably enter around here at the bottom. Around 49. Okay. Likewise, here too, we break 44, the trend will be down. That is called mapping the market using the swing system to locate the fractals. Uh, we have another one here too. That's a decaying fractal chunk there. Uh, oh, let's see, what else do we have? That's about it. All right, so your key level would be 44 here. It's bearish. Uh, 44 here. It's bearish. And then we have 49 here would be bearish too. Mm -hmm. Looking at Turn down as of now, contingent on another discovery for a fractal. Okay, a good example of locating the market turns on any time frame. Uh, the bigger uh, time frame again, uh, very bearish, it's not pretty. Okay, so. Uh, you would probably want to do trades going down, going down, going down, rather than going up, rather than going up, rather than going up. Uh, I can't see 74 breaking to the upside here. So uh, 49, 44, 44. That's your key. We'll find out how this turns out. Hank Wernicke, signing off.